everybody, it's your boy C. Sams, and this is That Comic Show. Wait, no, no, sorry. It's That Comic Show. April, finally here. It's finally here. April is going to be a big month for comic book movies. We've got three comic book movies that are coming out this month. If we include a fourth, which I don't think, well, it's technically a comic book, so let's just talk about it real quick. Uh, the fourth movie that I'm talking about is Detective Pikachu, but I don't think Detective Pikachu, nah, I don't think Detective, nah. I don't think Detective Pikachu is going to make anything or do anything because it comes out the same day that an Ultimate movie is coming out. I don't even know why they decided to do that, but oh well. Anyway, so we're going to be talking about the two movies that are coming out that's going to make the biggest hit. And that is going to be Shazam and that is going to be Endgame. Now, we do have Hellboy. Hellboy does come in between it. And I'm not hearing a lot of great things about Hellboy. It looks great. I'm going to check it out. But nobody's really talking about Hellboy because everybody has their mind focused on one particular movie. And technically, some people are talking about the second movie. So let's just talk about the second movie, Shazam. Shazam has come out and it's coming out this weekend and I vow to go out and see it and you're gonna get the review and everything like that later on this week. But what I'm hearing from a lot of people, a lot of fans, a lot of casual people is that Shazam is actually a great movie. They're even saying that Shazam is the greatest DCEU movie that has ever come out. So let's take a look at that list and let's, let's try to compare it real quick. Man of Steel. BVS, Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman, Justice League, Aquaman. Yeah, you really don't have much to really fight against to, to make it to that top of the pecking order, but okay. Um, you're trying to say that Shazam did better than Man of Steel, Superman, and did better than BVS, Batman and Superman? Uh, okay, I guess. Um, I still think the movie is going to be a spoof. I still think the movie is a spoof of what a comic book movie is. Um, I like Zachary Levi. I think he's cool. But I don't see nothing special about this movie. I really don't. But I'm hearing everybody saying that this movie was great and it's awesome and that he's even a great actor in the movie that makes the movie special and unique. And okay, well, if that's what people are saying, they really didn't do that or sell that in the trailers because the trailers are selling a movie that looks like crap. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that. But then again, hey, I was surprised with Aquaman. Aquaman turned out to be a pretty good movie. I enjoyed it. Um, Wonder Woman was, you know, Wonder Woman was Wonder Woman. Um, I really don't remember the rest of the movies that came out for B. Well, the rest of the movies that came out for DC because. <sighs> anyway, so. That's what they're saying about Shazam. Go out there and check out Shazam. I'm going to go check out Shazam. I'm going to give my review and my thoughts about that movie uh, when it drops. I think we're going to do a review about that movie. I think we should. Yeah, we should do a review of that movie. Um, but that's just what it is. We're going to keep it moving. Now, let's get to what we really came here for. Endgame. It has been reported that Endgame is going to be three hours and two minutes. Three hours and two minutes. Are you ready for three hours and two minutes of Marvel goodness? I am. I don't know why people are so shocked and so scared about this. Oh man, they have to have an intermission in between. Oh man, I gotta I got use the bathroom. Oh man, I can't eat because I'm gonna be sitting there for three hours. Listen, you watch Infinity War. Infinity War was two hours and 30 minutes. And that movie looked like it, it went from there to there and it was done. I was mad because I wanted some more. Now we're gonna get some more. So I think having it be in three hours, I think that's awesome. It makes all the sense in the world to me. You have to give this movie three hours and at least this movie is gonna get three hours and it's gonna make it a cohesive story that makes sense. Not a Snyder cut that is three hours that makes the whole movie make sense when you didn't warrant it to make sense to begin with. Let's forget about that. Endgame is gonna be three hours and two minutes. Movie tickets go on sale on Tuesday. Now we're probably gonna drop this video, hopefully I'm gonna to try to drop this video by Wednesday. So by time that day comes of Wednesday, I would already have my tickets already purchased for the opening weekend. I'm probably gonna see it Friday morning. I'm gonna see it that Saturday night. I'm probably gonna see it that Sunday night. I might see it that Tuesday, $5. I'm gonna. I'm budgeting a lot of money on this movie. That's not because I'm a huge Marvel fan. It's because Marvel did something to me in Infinity War, 
And what they did to me in Infinity War was give me a movie that literally touched on all of the beats that I was hoping that they would touch on. Some Certain things that they didn't touch on, which I'm okay with because it didn't fit their story. But they gave me a story of Thanos. And Thanos went through and took care of everything he wanted to take care of. And he got to the end of his road. And at the end of his road, he sat there and he smiled. And that was it. We didn't get any closure. So we need to have that closure in this movie. And the way that they've been setting these trailers up, the heroes are working at a deficit. And it looks like that they're gonna do everything they can to try to fix everything that happened. But what if they can't? That's what this movie did. This movie created an emotion within me and for a lot of people because of what it did. Now we're waiting to see what happens. And I can't wait for this to happen. It cannot come soon enough. April's gonna fly by because my mind is already racing to April 25th for the initiated April 25th. All right, so uh, awesome. I have one more thing that I want to talk about, but uh, I don't know if I want to really talk about it. But it's Zoe Zaldana. Zoe Zaldana has some comments about Disney rehiring James Gunn. It says redemption is um, is progress. So it looks like that she's happy about you know, whatever. I don't even know why I mentioned it, but whatever. Anyway, this is that comic talk.